Uh, hey YouTube. Um, just our phone here. Um, I'm here for another sneaker review. Uh, these are some KD KD sixes. I actually got these from Flight Club, and I picked these up at uh, I picked these up. These this is actually an old release. It came out around uh, I want to say it came out sometime last year. I want to say around February, January, early at the top of last year, 2014. I I bought these for my birthday. Um. We have the KD6 Black History Month, size 12. And um, the the color, I know this is old for y'all. Some of y'all might have these already, but they new to me. And uh, my first KD6 is in, so um, I was pretty psyched about that. But anyway, the official colorways are purple, violet, I guess metallic gold, purple dynasty, and or meta violet too. Anyways, uh... Right away, you see it comes in an orange, an orange KD boxes. I'm not a fan of the KD eights. I have, uh, I only actually have three pairs of KDs, but yeah, let's get into it. So right off the bat, right off the bat, you can see, uh, I don't know if you can see the lightning. I'm not gonna run some bad lightning, but anyway, right off the bat, you see the, it comes in a gold K KD emblem, and and uh, I guess you can say it's kind of like a. It's like a rigged edge or something like that. And it's metallic. So uh right off right off the bat, uh I noticed I noticed the designs, I guess those the black history most designs, like like some kind of African culture or something like that. Uh if any, if you know what this is, don't don't come correct me if I'm wrong, but if you know what this is, uh you can just put it in the uh the comment section. Right away right off the bat we have the I noticed didn't like from the difference from the regular tongues. It has the Black History BHM on the tongue, and the tongue is uh the tongue is like paper thin. It's like real paper thin, like thin as paper, yo. So on the back of the heel, you have the thunder strike, the lightning strike for the thunders. As we get into it, we have the gold swoosh, the uh, purple air unit. Under the under the sole of the shoe, we have the KD area unit. You can see the clear KD right there. On certain models, it's different. The traction on these is nice. I guess if you, I'm gonna wear it for a stunning shoe, like you know, swag and shoe type of shoe. But I guess if you play basketball or whatever, the traction of these is nice. I recommend them. And uh, you have fly wire. I'm gonna come in the light right here. You have fly wire to that connects the laces, and it's really funny. Like the tech, as the technology with shoes go, it's kind of funny actually because uh, it's like they strain different. It's like it's like it's like going diagonal or something like that. You know, it's not like strain like your average shoe. And uh, I decided to, you know, I double loop, I double lace the uh, fly wire. But if you're gonna do that with the KD6, um. Be careful because the fly wire can it can pop and uh I don't know how you will be able to restore that back because it's it goes through fly wire. It has no outlet holes to string them. Inside the sole, you have uh I don't know if you can see it, but inside the sole you have his signature, Kevin the Rent. You have uh the golden swoosh. In the midsole you have purple specks, I guess on the gray. On the toe tab. It says, it says, seat pull Pleasant's finest. Oh, I'm not, sorry, sorry about that. It says seat Pleasant's finest. Seat Pleasant's finest. And that's just, I, I find that. And on the uh, back heel, it says Big Chucky. I have no idea what that means, but yeah. Um, yeah, it's pretty much a good shoe. I like it. It's my first KD6. And uh, hopefully... I can cop some more because these these don't even be in stores no more, I don't think. But uh I got them for Flight Club. Shout out to Flight Club. And uh on few on feet review coming soon for this too. Alright, peace. Rate, comment, subscribe. And thanks.